Smart Real Estate Wholesaling, Chapter 4, Living versus Dead Connection. How to capture your prospect's business with precise, accurate, and right timing. I covered the concept of the living and the dead connection a little bit on the last chapter where we discussed data collection. You learned that a primary reason for collecting data is to create living connection with your prospect. But I don't feel that we've done enough justice in making sure you understand why focusing 100% of your resources on creating living connections only is key to maximizing your empire's fullest potential. Have you ever started a campaign with all your hopes up because of the success stories and testimonials only to run out of marketing budget? If your experience is any close to mine, you may have even gotten the response lead that seems so promising but the prospect goes cold on you. That's not fun, is it? The reality is that timing is not always right for your prospects. You can write the best ad copy, do all the right things in your marketing and your prospect will still say no or maybe simply not ready. Your prospects make their buying decision based on how they feel 85% of the time. They may justify with logic later, but most decisions are emotional in nature. In order to build emotions up to a level that creates a decision that favors you, time and patience must be involved at some point. You can't skip the role of time and patience in your business. When you try to skip the role of time and patience in your prospecting and marketing activities, it leads to suffering and wastage of resources. Back in 2009, I discovered the use of two types of landing pages with digital marketing. The first type is to buy marketing that drives online traffic to a sales presentation. If a prospect doesn't buy, I basically lost the cost of marketing to that prospect. This system is not patient. It is designed to collect money as soon as possible. I went with this option, spent $700, and attracted lots of visitors to the website. I got one customer which resulted in a $20 commission. I lost $680. The second type of marketing drives online traffic to a lead capture page. It offers some kind of valuable information in exchange for an email address and or phone number. Once they submit their email address, they are redirected to a free gift they opted in for. But they are also presented with an offer to buy something typically at a price less than $100. If the prospect doesn't buy anything during that online session, I have not lost any money because I can contact them again without spending additional money on marketing to them. How? Email marketing follow-ups. That's why I encourage my clients to focus on creating systems that allow them to talk to 100 prospects in one minute as opposed to spending 100 minutes with one prospect. There are studies that show that customers are exposed on an average of seven times before they make their buying decision. Majority of the time, your marketing will basically act as sowing seeds. You have two choices. One, get good at planting these seeds as they build momentum and buying emotions on top of each other or two, try to hard sell your prospect with sleazy sales and closing tactics. In real estate wholesaling, what I have learned over the years is that you can't say the right thing to the wrong person and you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Often a deal would fall through and you may try to trace what could have gone wrong. It's typically never one thing. There are lots of moving parts in any type of business and as you are realizing in this publication, real estate wholesaling is no different. All you can do is control what you can control and ignore the rest. Your ability to identify the factors you can control and differentiate them from others is the actual first step to control. You can't control when prospect will respond to your marketing and decide to sign your contract, but you can control how many seeds of marketing you are sowing and the message that your marketing promotes. Knowing for a fact that timing is not always right for your prospect to decide and buy, what if you can set up a system where timing is always right for your empire when the prospects are ready? This was the idea that created the concept of living and dead connections. With living connections, a connection was created with the prospect and you can continue to connect with them over and over again without spending additional marketing dollars. With dead connection, 
sure a connection is created but it's a one-time event in order to connect with the prospect again I would have to spend additional marketing dollars this is one of the major factors that sets the winners in real estate wholesaling apart from the losers. Exploring smart loopholes such as finding ways to preserve resources with leverage while building them in blocks over and over again. The right timing for your prospect is not a variable that you can control. However, with the technology of these days, you sure can create campaigns that makes it possible to position your brand, empire, and real estate wholesaling business to serve prospects once the time is right for that prospect, even if it's dead in the middle of the night. For example, you may have been marketing to a pre-foreclosure prospect for a while. It's now six months after the initial contact and they've decided to move forward with getting rid of the property. If you had created a dead connection initially, you wouldn't have been on their radar and their property would have gone to someone else. But if your business was smart enough to initiate the contact with the living connection, you'd be in radar and timing would have been right on both sides of that relationship. It happens all the time in my business. I get clients who sign up two plus years after initial contact. Others will sign up on initial contact and everything in between my initial contact starts with offering valuable information to my targeted audience in exchange for their email address the collection of the email address and or phone number initiated a living connection allowing me to continue to follow up with more valuable information and occasional offers to sign up sometimes when I get a sign up or sales I traced their history on my customer relationship and management software the CRM it's so much fun to watch the different variations even better I'm able to use the information to continue to make our email follow-up sequence convert to sales better I'm sure you have probably seen this in operation with your favorite gurus how do you know when they have uploaded a new video you probably get a notification by email text message or as a suggestion on your favorite social media feed could you leverage this opportunity with direct mail cold calling knocking on doors driving for dollars or bandit signs you can't because those marketing strategies are old school and they create dead connections you create connections but you have to spend money again to connect again that gets very expensive because the average clients take an average of seven exposures before deciding to buy from you or sign up with you no matter how good you are at selling the best part about this is that living connections can be automated 100 percent into your real estate wholesaling business in a few short steps you will learn more on how to set it up properly throughout the rest of this publication too many people start a real estate wholesaling business with freedom as a goal in mind but then most of them end up with series of manual labor driven marketing ideas many people will lose money and even worse waste time in years testing out marketing strategies that only generate dead connections these are guaranteed ways to go broke and lose hope in believing in yourself and real estate wholesaling the guaranteed way to build a real estate wholesaling business is to set up marketing strategies that only generate living connections ie that is ability to continue to follow up with automated marketing without having to spend additional money how much more money do you have to waste on dead connections marketing strategies aren't you tired feeling like you're throwing money and time down the drains at least you can replenish money but you cannot replenish time either you realize it or not time is of the essence lack of respect of your personal time will let you waste time on deciding not to invest in bad strategies much further commit right now to never invest in another dime or another second of your time on marketing strategies that does not collect data as primary objective again every dollar you spend on reaching prospect using a dead connection is another dollar that could have created 20 living connections it's a bad habit that has everlasting effect on your potential listen I used to get tempted all the time to try out dead connections marketing strategies it's usually due to a desperate urge to create fast results signups and growth what I've learned over time is that it's a fast and guaranteed way to lose money especially in the modern age the only possible exception is to maybe send in direct mailing with a letter that has a call to action that offers a free information at your website as opposed to the traditional call me now call to action with that being said 
it's worth noting that snail mailing is overpriced for the modern age. There are more cost-effective, efficient, specific, measurable, automated, resort-focused, time-bound, smarter strategies to attract all the deals you need than snail mail. Go to myempirepro.com for more information.